face, put that water on your mustache. Same pussy, make that dick have a heart attack. Ain't heard what I said, nigga, run out. Yo, she the goat, bro. What the fuck did she just say? Wait. What the fuck did she just say? I know she would get, get that comfortable. I know she didn't. Yeah, I know, but this is like this what is like the a fuck? classic. That was Riley Reed, uh, an ex uh, porn star. And also, I'm done censoring myself for YouTube. If they like demonetize this shit, I don't give a fuck. A a white porn star who is now trying to rap, and because of her mediocre flow on a mediocre beat, we're bopping our head to it until. She overtly says, nigga, now we have a problem with it. We're, we're, if I'm watching this as a white guy, if I'm watching this as a Jewish guy and an Islamic guy, whatever the case may be, I'd be like, these three niggas are a fucking joke. Too easily impressed by bullshit. So if, if, if we are going to expect cooperation from our women, submission from our women, to be able to get on the same page, these type of black men can no longer be our representatives. And I, I understand like the, the conversation also should be had about the type of black malehood that, that black women perpetuate or that they pedestalize. That's another conversation, but like we cannot, whether it's with the next Iggy Azalea or the next fucking just pearly things, we can't be so easily impressed by a woman, and especially not a white woman, literally just parroting, doing their best black woman impersonation. Or their best, uh, she's just saying everything I want to hear, impersonation. Like, we can't, we can't be that cheap, man. And also, I want, I want to bring this up, because when I was watching Obsidian Stream, um, apparently he brought up his uh, uh, Just Pearly Things producer, who's really just tech support, by his own admission. His name's Blessing. He's Nigerian, I'm Nigerian. We must have the conversation about the miseducation of the African. And a lot of Africans, including myself at one point, are very, very severely miseducated about black history. Whether black history, like in the Americas, or black history on the continent. So like, just pearly things, this conversation she had with, oh dude, I don't even know his name. Like, it doesn't seem that big of a deal, right? It is, it's, you know, well, black people are late. And, and it's, it's, it's minimized to like very cheap, easily dismissible things because you don't understand the nuance. You don't understand the levels to it. You don't understand the harm of her ignorance. Because again, like during, during slavery, and during Jim Crow, most white people were not slave owners. Most white people were not actually beating black people or lynching black people. But we have to talk about the pictures of you, we, that you see of a black man hanging. We have to talk about the white people in the crowd. Those are just pearlies. The complicit majority, though, that's what we need to talk about. So when we see things like this come out, it is very reminiscent of that complicit majority. So, you know, this whole witch hunt of who is a racist, who is not a racist, like I've always said, it's a waste of time. I care about systemic racism. I care about economic racism. Just pearly things is in inconsequential. But if we're supporting somebody who is part of a complicit majority, then we don't actually want progress. A lot of the quote unquote leaders that I'm seeing on these internet spaces, they don't, they don't have real lives. They didn't get bitches in real life. They don't, have, they don't have black women that they could call up and be like, yo, what do you think about this in real life? They just have smoke, they just have critique. Like none of their actual critiques are rooted in an understanding of the thing or the person that they're critiquing. So it's easy to just lambast black women and say, they're the problem wholeheartedly without having a nuanced and balanced conversation. So like even, even some of the black female content creators that I disagree with, but I still consume, to. To, to get balanced, to get a balanced perspective, like one of their critiques is, listen, you know, 
black men want to make it seem like we are the problem. And if we get our shit together, that the shit will be together uh, full stop. And it's like, it doesn't work like that. Just like I say, black women need to stop incentivizing the wrong type of man. On the flip side, on the flip side, just Pearly's fan base is us. Some of the motherfuckers playing for OnlyFans is us. I've seen, and this is the crazy thing, right? These women that I interview, I know them in real life. The vast majority of them, I know them in real life. So they'll, they'll screenshot me, yo, look at this DM some random dude sent me. Ready to fly me out, ready to, ready to cash at me, ready to do all kinds of shit that I haven't proven that I deserve. Why the fuck would she not have a complex about herself? Why the fuck wouldn't she, wouldn't she think that she's owed the moon and the, and the stars? And then we throw around the word simp. There's, I'm not even going to use the word, but it's just stupid ass niggas or niggas who just want to pay for pussy. If you want to pay for pussy, get you a prostitute. But like, we also have to address the fact that some of the ways we are moving are incentivizing the very behavior we claim to dislike in women. Going back to Chantel Simone, Dr. Tia San Johnson, who's literally founded a, 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 a department to study us. He does a stream, you know, he makes a couple dollars, this, this, and that. But then you have a Jamaican woman living in America doing a stream talking about black men leaving America. A single Jamaican woman, black men leaving America to find other women. She makes $1,500 in, in super chats. And, and nobody thinks, oh, she's, she's, she's grifting. <laughs> she's saying the shit we want to hear. Just per, where, where, where's, we, we like to throw out to the women we don't like, where's your husband, where's your ring, this, this, and that. But as soon as a motherfucker says the same shit that we regurgitate without any nuance, without any depth, without any consideration, or oh, we, we, we lap it up, here goes some money. Hey, let me fly you out here, let me do this, let me do that. We're the problem.